I had a peek. I, I have to be honest. I had a peek. But let me show you what's in the box. Hi guys, it's Carla from Cooking for Kales. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something different today. I'm not cooking. What I'm doing is I'm going to open this box. This, this box here I got last night. It was delivered overnight to me. It's from a company called Oddbox. And if you haven't heard of Oddbox, what they are, are a social enterprise based here in London. And what they do is they rescue produce that would normally just be discarded because it doesn't meet the standards that are for the grocery stores either through color or shape or something is wrong with the vegetables, but they're totally edible. Um, and so to avoid them just being discarded, what Oddbox does is they collect them from, from the growers and they put them in these boxes and then they do home deliveries. So I found out about Oddbox um, through Instagram. They, I was in on Instagram scrolling through and I saw an ad from them and I thought, hmm, that looks, that looks interesting. Especially since it's not been that pleasant going out to the grocery stores and, and buying you know, our groceries on a weekly or bi-weekly basis because of the pandemic. So I thought, well, let me check them out. And then when I went to the website, I was really interested because I really love their mission, which is to eradicate food waste and food poverty and they mentioned on the website that 30 percent of all food that is that is produced in the world is discarded it's just wasted so their whole mission is to eradicate that or to do their part with that and so i thought i'm going to give them a try they were also having a 50 percent discount so that was even more incentive to give them a try to see how it was and i read some of the reviews and it seemed like a really a good company the other thing that they do is they deliver overnight as a way to reduce their carbon footprint because then the roads in London are less busy in the middle of the night. But the issue that I had was I didn't sleep well last night because I was waiting for the box to be delivered and I was afraid that I was afraid that the London wildlife might get to it before I got to it. And I'm talking about London foxes. They're like they're everywhere. And this box was just, you know, left outside. Around four o'clock in the morning, I thought I heard something, so I got up, and sure enough, this was outside my door. So I'm uber excited to have a look inside, and um, let's let's look and see what we got in here. I had a peek. I I have to be honest. I had a peek, but let me show you what's in the box. So, whew, what we've got are a couple of pieces of literature here they're saying sorry we had to replace one of your items I'm fine with that and um, I got another one so maybe they're replacing two but as I said I had no expectations so what I was in here I'm gonna be happy with um, then there's some additional information from them oh it explains where they're from this is great so it has what's in the box where they came from, what grower, what part of the country, and if they were surplus and size or shape, why they were rescued. Okay, this is interesting. Um, and then they also have a couple of recipes. So there's asparagus and potato frittata, and there's also an aubergine and courgette ratatouille. Sounds interesting. Have a look. So, some salad greens. This is the only thing that's in here that's wrapped in plastic and they actually say on their website that when they have salad greens they, they do put them in plastic. It's the only one. I think they wash them. Um, but they try to reduce their amount of plastic obviously because that's you know against what it is that they do. But some things I guess can't be avoided. So that's some salad greens which look lovely. Oh, there's some lovely asparagus in here. Look at these. I mean, what is wrong with this? This is perfect. They look amazing. They smell good too. They smell fresh and lovely. There's also some scallions or green onions that look like they've just been pulled out of the ground. They've still got some dirt on them. Okay, maybe the tops are a little wilted, but we'll cut those off. The inside of it's gonna be absolutely fine. There's this huge white cabbage. So this one, it's a little, the leaves are a little brown on this side here, but if you just peel off these leaves here, I'm sure that the inner leaves are gonna be good, good for a good coleslaw, good for some cabbage and rice maybe. 
perfect. Also, avocados, three avocados. Now that is amazing. And if I just touch the tops of them, these feel ready, ready to eat now. Perhaps maybe for some guacamole this weekend. Definitely, definitely. Because you know how avocados are. They're, they're not ripe until you look at them, then they're ripe and then they're, you know, then they're going too far. So they're such delicate things, such divas. The divas of the, of the fruit and vegetable world. Are they a fruit or are they a vegetable? Hmm. Tell me in the comments below. Are avocados a fruit or a vegetable? Either way, they're delicious. Also got a couple of oranges here. And additionally, oh, there's a, a melon. Now, okay, this smells really good. So maybe it got rejected because it does have a little bit of brown spots on it, um, but it's still quite firm. I think this is honeydew. Um, but that would be lovely, just sliced up and you know eaten chilled. Wonderful. There's a bit of uh, the couple of nectarines in here. I'm sure these are nectarines because they're not fuzzy. If they were fuzzy, they would be peaches, right? But I see a crumble in my future, perhaps, I don't know. Okay, there's another nectarine. This one here, yeah, it's got a, it's a little bit odd shaped, but I'm sure it's absolutely edible. I mean, it is absolutely edible. We've got a couple of lovely tomatoes and I'm excited for this because I find the tomatoes in the grocery stores can sometimes be quite bland and if this is coming straight from the grocers and it's organic they're going to be lovely with my salad greens perhaps and then a bunch of small potatoes maybe for that frittata or even a potato salad I don't know well, that is the contents. I'm quite excited about this. I think that this is a good buy. I think I'm going to continue on with this service. I'm really happy with what I got in this first box. And I just wanted to say to my new subscribers, thank you so much. I've just started up YouTube. I'm a new YouTuber, <laughs> fresh out of the blocks, just been doing it for about a month. And I really appreciate those of you who've come over to my channel, who've supported me. Uh, by liking and by subscribing and what I would like to suggest is if you have any suggestions on what I can do with this this uh, box of fruit and veg let me know is there is there a particular recipe that you think I should try is there a recipe off of your YouTube channel that you think I should try just let me know in the comments below so that's it guys I'm just gonna put these all back before I decide what else to do with them Oh, it's amazing. Look at that. There you go, guys. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me and having a look at this. And I can't wait to hear what you got to say in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.